My name is Kevin Wensley, I'm the Director of Operations at Offshore Sailing School and I'm here today at one of our beautiful Southwest Florida locations of South Seas Island Resort. And today we're going to talk a little bit about furling systems. Most modern cruiser yachts will have jib or Genoa furling sails. Some even have furling mainsails that go into the boom or into the mast. The jib furler is a very simple piece of equipment and usually robust enough to handle use in some of the worst weather. However, Continuous use in stressful conditions will lead to excessive wear and ultimately gear failure, not to mention increasing the workload of the crew member designated to operate the system. Here are a couple of tips for ensuring your crew and equipment are not overly worked. When unfurling the jib, try and do this on a reach that allows the wind to help bring the sail out. Keeping a little tension on the furling line will also reduce the risk of an override. This is where the furling line binds on itself and makes further unfurling difficult and furling away of the sail impossible without clearing the override. Keeping tension on the furling line by creating a little friction on a winch or around a cleat will make it a lot easier to control when you only want to partially pull out the sail on a breezy day. Here's a technique for rolling up the jib that I often see go unused, which will significantly reduce the wear on equipment, impact on the rig, and generally allow your crew to roll up or reduce sail area without resorting to winching. The key is to take all the power out of the jib by blanketing it behind the mainsail. This is done by sailing the boat on a deep broad reach until you see the clue of the jib start to collapse behind the main. Once you've done this and the helms person has a steady course, it should be possible to start furling the jib with little effort. Keep the jib sheets under minimal tension to allow for a nice even furl and avoid running out of furling line caused by the wraps becoming too tight which results in the candy stripe look and that can ultimately lead to UV deterioration of your sails. Best of all, using minimal tension on your jib sheets causes no stress on your crew or equipment. It is a good policy to wrap two or three extra turns of the jib sheet around the furled sail in case of a sudden squall. You will of course need some sea room to execute the manoeuvre, so a little pre-planning will help. And don't worry that you had to let out the mainsail to turn down wind as you can easily pull it back in as the boat is turned back up towards the wind. And there you have a great technique for furling away your jib or Genoa, making sure that it's nice and easy on the crew and it looks great when it's finished.